Okay, it's on. Welcome. Uh, this is the uh, Jenkins Docs Office Hours, European edition uh, for August 17th. Uh, today on our agenda, we have some action items. Uh, if Vihan, Vihan just showed up, so we'll be able to check in on the Google Server of Code. Uh, just some updates about the September LTS release, uh, which is 2.361.1. Uh, small update on search improvements for Jenkins.io. Um, discuss the commercial short page, support page, uh, the Blue Ocean status statement, change log entries from multiple repositories, uh, and the Hacktoberfest documentation contributions. Uh, so uh, first things first, just to touch base on the action items, and um, Mark is not here this week. He's on vacation. So uh, we have Alyssa here helping us out today with the recording. So thank you very much to Alyssa. And uh, all the action items are in the same status as previously, where Mark still needs to uh, complete the blog post and such. Uh, however, the She Code Africa contrib Contributhon results blog post has uh, So that is a victory in this case. Uh, um, so I uh, just want to check in. Uh, would you be willing to share what you've got uh, since our last update on the Google Summer Code? Yeah, sure. Hi, Kevin. Hey, so and, uh, do you want to share your screen? Um, yes, I'll do that. Okay. Um, basically, uh, maybe share the reading update that I've done. Just a minute. Sure, no worries. Uh, so meanwhile, I'll talk about the progress. So we've uh, created the pull request for the separation of parameters on the new page. So the draft PR is ready. Mm -hmm. And um, in that PR, we plan to not only separate, uh, not only include the processing layer, but also uh, include the change in configuration, uh, maybe the readme for that, and also some tests for the processing layer. So that will also be included. And uh, other than that, we are also investigating on one of the anomalies that we saw in the documentation of Bitbucket server. So we were basically seeing uh, some deprecated steps that uh, in, inside the documentation. And that also led us to uh, seeing some pages that uh, that were actually not linked from the main page. So let me just uh, share my screen and show it to you. Mm. All right. So this, let me know if my screen is visible. You can see it. Okay, great. So I'll basically just search for the issue that Mark had created in the PyPSF documentation repository. And uh, yeah, so it was about the ignoring uh, experimental plugin releases. And for that, I saw that the page that is mentioned by Mark was already fixed, but the old plugin link was still leading us to that ASCII doc. And this indicates only one thing that uh, the cleanup of the ASCII docs in that folder is not yet done. So I wanted to uh, maybe create an action item for one of the maintainers for this to run uh, a clean uh, ASCII docs for this so that whenever the next build of the pipeline self documentation happens, we can feed the new ASCII docs onto the folder so that we get rid of these old lying links. And in this way, we'll also ensure that none of the older document older documentation sits on our pages any of our pages so for example the uh, one that we saw was related to the bitbucket server inside the pattern groovy libraries and so we also posted a query on the pipeline authoring special interest group channel on Gitter. And it was basically about the snippet generation of this Bitbucket server. And inside that, uh, we were not able to get uh, the extensions choice to uh, be filled by entering different choices. So I'll maybe open up modern SCM. And in this, uh, aside from the standard uh, SCM that we have everywhere, we also have Bitbucket server sitting outside. And in this, the uh, the name of this field is traits. 
and according to Christian, this should be extensions because we tested it using the um, uh, snippet generator and it is supposed to be uh, renamed to extensions. Um, so this was that point that we, where we thought that this might be some of the older uh, documentation, which is not yet removed. But um, we have to see basically that cleanup is required anyways, because uh, the old links, which are no longer linked from anywhere, but those ASCII docs are still there. And basically I found that link using one of the tickets that, that was created, the original ticket behind the experimental plugin releases. So I picked that link from there. Um, so yeah, basically it should be named as extensions. That is what we are working on. And the snippet generation is also not happening in the way we expect. So we've posted a query on the pipeline authoring stick and let's see what happens to that. But other than that, I have uh, basically worked, um, uh, I've also figured out some criteria for setting up the configuration file. And that I have updated in the readme uh, of this same pull request. So I've added some tasks for this and that basically contains that extra set of information that we want uh, for the parameter configuration. So the maintainer could go through this file. So yeah, this was the progress for the week. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Mihan. Uh, now I have to admit, since Mark's not here, I don't know that we'll uh, have such lovely questions as he normally would provide, uh, but I can see what's going on. And I, I, we, I know we all appreciate the work that you're doing on getting this cleaned up and uh, looking really nice for, with, for the Jenkins project. So thank you again for all your continuous work. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, next on the agenda, uh, just updates about the Jenkins September LTS release, which is going to be version 2.361.1. Uh, Faith has asked for a blog post about the Java 11 requirement and really just an overview of Jenkins historically uh, that they can share in the CD Foundation blog. So. Uh, I'll be coming up with that. We have Basil's post from uh, when Java 11 was required in the weekly release as a great piece to work from and uh, all the information that we've got since then as well on any releases. So uh, lots of material to work with and I'll be working on that once I am able to finish up the upgrade guide and change log, uh, which uh, are in initial draft stages right now, but have been submitted as a draft PR. Um, the baseline for this release is going to be 2.361. Uh, that was in the developer mailing list thread. And uh, it again, it does require Java 11. So Java 8 supports being dropped completely. Uh, we've been doing everything we can to let people know about this ahead of time, though. Uh, so we've uh, done a great job of making sure that everyone's aware. Uh, and then uh, the other thing that is coming along with this is uh, Java 17 support will be is uh, available with it. And uh, people can start previewing that and testing that if they want to. Uh, the upgrade guide and changelog are is here and available if anyone wants to take a look, share feedback. Um, there's a lot that has been added already. We've got a lot of changes coming, so uh, there's still more to be done there. But I'll be working on that and getting that taken care of. Uh, search improvements for Jenkins. Uh, so this is something that Mark has mentioned in weeks past. Uh, that uh, the Algolia search is out of date for uh, Jenkins as it stands right now. Uh, so we need to update from the legacy scraper to the new version uh, and make sure that the search results are get are appearing as they are expected to. Uh, right now, if you search for upgrade, for example, you won't find the upgrade guide so easily. Um, this is something that has to be taken care of by either Mark or Gavin Mogan since it requires specific credentials. Uh, so they will have to take care of that or at least work on that. Um, and Mark's already created a, an issue in GitHub for this. So um, we do have something to track with. Any work can be done on, associated with that. Uh, we also have brought this up in the past, but just again, the commercial support page proposal that was brought by Gavin Mogan. Uh, we have a support, a vendor support page right now that is, uh, could be better. And Gavin's been looking for feedback, ideas, any kind of uh, proposals that might help build a better support page for vendors. Um, direct communications, links directly to help, uh, what kind of offerings they have, and any and various other uh, topics that, uh, that would be great to capture in these situations. Um, if there's any vendors or even commercial vendors that you can think of, um, 
be, feel free to comment add in here. Uh, there is, uh, we had discussion recently about uh, including commercial vendors as well as support vendors since it's still gonna be cloud. Um, and then, and then, yeah, uh, the, there has been um, a proposal to ask the outreach group to contact potential vendors as well. Uh, I think Mark was supposed to check in on that. I have not uh, heard as far as what the progress is on that goes. Um, and of course, again, this is for the community, by the community. So as much discussion and feedback is available is, is the best. Um, uh, moving on, the Blue Ocean status statement that we've added to the Blue Ocean documentation uh, has been added to more pages and the plugin page. Um, the Docker Hub page itself needs to be updated, but that's a specific set of credentials again. Um, and uh, we're not sure if we have those to make that update ourselves. We might have to check in with some other teams. But uh, the idea is that we'll have the status statement aligned in there as well. Uh, and then there's a tutorial page for creating a pipeline that needs the status added. Uh, that's something I'm going to take care of as well. Uh, we do uh, occasionally get change log entries from multiple repositories. Uh, and the issue there is that if they're all coming from multiple repositories, something could fall off along the way or just not um, make it to someone's eyes, someone's list. Uh, but Mark is going to ask the Jenkins developer list uh, about something we can do about fixing that, putting them all, combining them all into one uh, entry or, you know, that's still to be discussed. So. Uh, again, any ideas, any feedback, any proposals would be great to share. Uh, and then the last thing that I had on my list, to, on our list today was Hacktoberfest, which is coming up in October. Um, we've got some things that we can work on for Hacktoberfest and try to submit, uh, such as the docs need to be converted from wiki pages to Markdown. Uh, there's still a lot of older pages that need this update. Um, this was actually the project, one of the projects that we uh, hosted mentored last year and uh, we were and the docs team uh, was able to help get uh, a good amount of stuff converted which was great um, there's gonna be there's some things that we were discussing but can't be included just because they require too much knowledge uh, of Jenkins to be really helpful it would take more time to learn and understand uh, what it all means than it would be to do something like inclusive naming so uh, we're going to keep working on that, something I'm going to discuss with Mark as we go along and get closer uh, to see what other docs options we might have. Um, and again, this is something that uh, we'd be happy to discuss here if there's any ideas. Um, this is just something that uh, it's new for me and I'm really excited about being a participant of and I would love to just uh, expand all my skill sets and uh, relationships within the Jenkins community through it. So yeah, any help is well, um, that is all I had on the agenda for he, for today. Uh, Zahan, Bruno, did you have anything that you'd like to add or throw out there today? Not for me. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Right, I think from my side. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, great. Thank you so much for letting me know. And uh, with that, I think we can wrap up a little early today. Uh, the Video will be available um, once Mark has a chance to upload it. Uh, again, since he's out this week, it will probably be next week sometime, uh, hopefully earlier, but you'll, it'll be shared regardless.